Thank you. <laughs> so no, I'm not a professional speaker and I'm not here for a heavy sales uh, pitch. Uh, I'm here to provide financing to contractors and commercial projects. My son's handing out uh, some literature. Um, we're not going to read this whole, all, all this in front of you, but I will tell you that we're part of a consortium of companies called the Construction Support Specialists. We have a team of professionals that are here to help small to medium-sized contractors successful. Unfortunately, my partner, uh, who's the president of DevCorp, is out of state on one of our projects and couldn't be here tonight. My focus is on financing. So I'll make it really simple. If you have a bid and you're starting a job and you need money for uh, mobilization, get the equipment you need to start the project, we can help you. If you need money to make weekly payroll, we can help you. If you need funds to keep your suppliers current, keep your bills current, we can help you. We don't have long-term contracts. We simply purchase your progress billings at a discount. We work very, very collaboratively with you. We want to make you successful. Uh, that's on the financing side, the DevCorp side, their consultants. They have a minority mentoring program. Uh, they do financial analysis and budgeting. We, it's really multi-layered services that we tailor uh, with every one of our clients to see what they need to be successful. And that's my pitch. It's as simple as that. What do you charge for uh, receivable financing? <clears throat> it all depends on the advance rate. And it all depends on the days outstanding. So it's not an easy, I can give you some examples, but. For example, public works usually um, from the time the invoice and the time the time you get paid is 45 to 60 days. Right. So. Um, let's say, for example, we're talking somewhere between 100 to 500,000 dollars. Right. The dollar amount is immaterial. We have no uh, minimums. We have no maximums. It's really on the days outstanding. And generally on larger billings of that nature, we might do progressive disbursements. So if you don't need all the money up front, obviously we'll want to work with you. Okay? On, on uh, average budgeting, it's between 5 and 6%, I would say, it would be a discount. So one of the things that we do is, is we really analyze the, your, your, your bid. We look at your profit margins, because frankly, a lot of small to medium-sized contractors don't know what their, their profits are. They think they do. Well, they find out the hard way, and that's really a bummer for everybody, right, when you come up short. So we're going to put a lot of emphasis and energy up front to determine what those margins are to see if our program makes sense. And if it doesn't, we're not going to do it. But. What, what we've found is, is smaller companies, they don't have access to the resources they need to be successful. It's as simple as that. If you're, uh, if you're a company and, and you're doing your books or your wife's doing uh, the books at 10 o'clock at night after you put the kids to bed, it's going to be a train wreck. Sooner or later, something's going to break. Okay? So we have professional sort resources, uh, 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 bookkeepers and accountants that specialize in construction that we're going to put you in touch with. We're going to have technical experts who are going to come in that if you think you're an expert on the job, well, guess what? They're going to come in, they're going to validate whether you're an expert or not. And if you're not, they're going to help you and they're going to tell you why. And they're going to take bringing you up to speed. Because the general contractors don't want to mess around. They want you to do a professional job. They want you to show up. They want you to perform to the contract. And frankly, they don't want you knocking on the, the trailer asking for advances. <laughs> uh, I, I know I'm like preaching to the choir. I mean. <laughs> And so that's why if you have a team of resources that you can, we can actually enhance your bids, we can analyze, we can, we can be a, a support mechanism for you to make you successful. And the irony is, is even though I'm a finance guy, my goal is to get you in front of a bank so eventually a bank will provide all the necessary financing you need and you won't need us any longer. And good luck with that. And I will tell you flat out, it has nothing to do with the fact if you're a minority or not, banks are not lending to construction companies. Period. They're a high risk industry. The feds are all over them. They'll say all these nice things, and every bank will buy you coffee <laughs> all day long. But the time comes for a commitment, it's not going to happen. I, I, I just, just, you might as well hear it just straight. Yes, sir. I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, maybe Chairman A wants to work in Captain, right? He said he had a contract. Let's say washed out or uh, 
DBA approved the uh, what do you call it? Con highway construction tax. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, do you hold the his city what do you call it? Account receivable board to get paid first, then that reimburse to him? How do you do that? Okay, so in, in short, we'll take the billing, we will purchase the billing as long as the general contractor signs off on a notification. We'll agree on an advance, an initial advance. The lower the advance, the better for you because it's lower your fee. The general contractor will pay us. When we receive payment, we calculate the discount that we retain and we rebate the difference. So let's just use really easy numbers. Take an 80% advance, we get paid, the discount turns out to be 5%, we rebate 15% back to you. Then, Simple as that. Second question I okay. have is, I mean, there's a lot of the uh, DOT, okay, approved the bank. Is it uh, a lot of DOT uh, uh, guarantee about 80% to the bank? Uh, so what's the difference between those banks lending money to smaller contractors and uh, you lending money to uh, that, uh, that guy? Well, the first difference is I don't lend money. I purchase invoices at a discount. The second is if you qualify for that program and it makes sense for you and it meets your needs, congratulations. I will never stand in the way of you getting in front of a bank. We'll even help you do the analysis. So, in essence, you are, you are called the your uh, service charges or whatever discount you gave is a little higher than uh, the DOT approved the what call, banking institution or what? Uh, I, I just curious. I, I can't answer that question. You haven't given me any numbers. I, I don't mean to be uh, facetious with you. I, we have to do the analysis. M my guess is that, it, that their program would probably be cheaper. Can they, can they do an approval in seven days? I don't think so. I, I would be surprised. Let me put it that way. Okay. So, Two more questions? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, do you just loan to uh, construction companies? No. Um, I mean, our company, we have 150 offices around the country, and we've been in business for 40 years. We started in the construction industry, and half of everything we do is construction related, so we're construction specialists. Mm -hmm. Okay? We don't lend money. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, no, it's okay. That's all right. Everyone makes that mistake, and that's you, fine. You purchase contracts right. from entities other than you answered yes. the question yes, and okay. Yes. In, in essence, you are in the factory business. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, I have two questions. How long a process does it take for you to uh, get a relationship with you guys? Is that 30 days, a couple of weeks? And I guess it's since you guys are not loaning money, you're basically purchasing invoices. Hmm? Uh, is that the number one criteria? So you guys don't have to look at my books. If I got somebody to owe you money, you think there's some profit on it. Is that your number one criteria for to do business with someone? Um, okay. Yes to your the answer that the primary requ underwriting requirement is the ability for the general contractor to pay the invoice. So we don't rely on your personal credit history. Okay, your first question is, is the process. It's generally about a 10-day process. If you supply all the information, that's what it takes for us to underwrite. Although I want to be very clear, it's full underwriting. It's tax returns, it's bank statements, looking at your accounts receivables and payables. We're doing an in-depth analysis of your company. Okay, we want to work with companies that are growing and that are successful. And if we see a problem, we don't want to be financing a company that's going down. I, 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 I'm going to just be honest with you. No one does. And a bank won't either. Well, it doesn't make a difference here whether he goes down or not because you are, you, you're going to have a kind of receivable from general contract anyway. So you get to pay from general contract and not from that guy that's sitting there. Uh, I'm not going to answer that. That's not a correct statement, though. I'm but anyway, thank, thank you for your comments, though. I do, I do appreciate that. So, so, so I, 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 what, I, what I need to do is I need to make sure that we're getting the questions that we have addressed. So to, to clarify what, you, what your question was is these guys, DevCore, would in fact be buying the receivable. That's right, yeah. But there is some relationship between the organization who's going to be performing that work. So there, there may be some 
some measure. I don't want to answer the question for you, but I need you to do more than what you just did. So <laughs> I need you to try to clarify a little better. Well, I think the way you presented the question is that it's only related to us approving a client if the general contractor is solid and is going to pay the invoices. Is that basically your statement? So the answer is no, that's not correct. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you very much, John. Thank you. Appreciate it. That, that's a pretty deep subject, and I think, you know, when it comes to uh, access to capital and financing, um, it's definitely something that's a priority for this organization and its members. However, one solution doesn't necessarily fit everybody. So what we have to do is we have to look into each individual business's needs, where their personal credit situation is, where their financial terms, and figure out if this is a, if this is the best viable solution. Um, but I can tell you as an emerging business that that factoring relationship, sometimes it's exactly what you need for that, that time frame. The key, the key is to be able to use it responsibly and realize that that, that, that percent does add up. So you need, to be, you need to make sure that your project has a margin in it and so forth. But I think it's a very good subject to, to explore and continue to talk with. And access to capital is a priority to our members. So thank you once again, John, for presenting to us. Dan, just please. I don't want to leave, you know, the way uh, uh, some different ideas. I try to present it idealistic, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. The idea, right? <laughs> I mean, they provide a wonderful service. Sure. People need that kind of service. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But I try to distinguish certain financing tools and resources. Sure. Sure. So people can see uh, where they can go. Exactly. Well, yeah, I'm not trying to do that. Sure. Matter of fact, I don't need any finance. <laughs> <laughs> can I get a loan? <laughs> <laughs> when you hear someone say that, okay, those are the next yeah. words. <laughs>